to everybody, it's Matt Leger here with Maple Grove Productions. It's an exciting day, we're getting started on the greenhouse. So first things first, we need to level off the ground over here behind me. We found the perfect spot for our greenhouse. It's going to get lots and lots of southern sun as you can see here. Full sun all day long. From my calculations, I'm guessing at least 8 hours a day of sun here. So. That should be pretty darn good for a greenhouse. We're going to put it right behind our strawberry patch here. That bed is all strawberries, wild strawberries, and uh, store-bought varieties. We like to compare one to the other. One segment is wild, the other is uh, store-bought varieties. So it's interesting to see how, how they grow. But anyway, we need to do some leveling off here. We had a pine over that way right here we had to transplant in the front so there's a big hole there and the roots were actually going underneath our bed so that was a job that we did last fall we got that taken care of but we didn't uh, have a time we didn't have the time to uh, fill in the hole and to add a new border there with the log before the snow came so first things first we need to fill that in level it off get the border on the bed looking good once that's all flat over there, I'm going to take any excess gravel, rocks, soil, get it out of here, move it aside. As you can see, we did peg out the rough area of our greenhouse, but it's going to have to get moved away a little bit. I don't want it right up against this bed, so that's one thing I'm going to have to do as well. But we're not digging this whole thing up. We're going to kill the grass with cardboard. But today I'm hoping to flatten that area and also dig a trench all the way around, a nice big rectangle about six inches across, and fill that up with gravel about a foot deep to have a good footing for the greenhouse and also to provide drainage to go under the greenhouse and not rot the wood. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're up to. Let's take a closer look at it. Here you can see all the tools that we're going to use to get this done. I'm hoping the kids will be able to help me do this. But we've got our wheelbarrow, we've got tarp, we've got a right angle. I have a measuring tape, handsaw, sledge, some twine, and a couple of spades. A square spade and a rounded spade. Here again is where we had placed the pegs. But this is going to be a little too close. This would be right up against the side of the bed, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to space it out a little bit more. These are going to have to come out. So that is the project for today. It should be easily done. It's a beautiful day, a little cold, around 10 degrees C. But uh, it's a good day, sitting in the sun. It's nice and comfortable. So that's what I'll be working on, and we'll update you as we go. On a little side note here, check out this rock that we dug up last year. Doesn't it look like a tool? Like it could have been used as a club or something, or a hammer? A mortar and pestle? Yeah, maybe. You never know. It does look rounded. I mean, nature will come up with all kinds of shapes like this on its own, but it does look like a tool. Almost looks like it was chipped away and carved to be in this shape. It's very smooth in spots. Anyway, I just thought that was cool. Strawberry coming in already, as you can see. This is the store-bought variety, I believe. And then over there is the wild, or is it the other way around? Uh, the other way around. This is the wild. Actually, the wild, they, so they're, they're, they're the mixed. mixing. I can see that now. They are They've mixed, mixed together. You can see the difference between the two. There's probably seven different varieties of strawberries in this bed right now. But they are growing nicely. They're coming in already. End of April. Your grandmother left those. They just kept fruiting. A couple big rocks in there for create a little microclimate. Keep the area warm. Oh, and we have rhubarb too. Oh, maybe rhubarb. That Spawned off the big one from last year. There'll be some weeding in here. A lot of the wood chips have sunken in and integrated with the ground. Had a massive uh, couple of ground cherries right here last year, but they were accidentally ripped out. So 
we're gonna have to start over with those but now we know how to grow them and how well they grow you can see the shells little remnants down here <laughs> looks cool what was this pineberry white, white strawberry is that actually in here White strawberries. I them Imagine that. They didn't. Uh, they flowered. They didn't fruit, but they were planted really late. Yeah. It was more for this year. This so a lot more variety of strawberry than I thought in here. And there's a little compost bin off on the side. Yeah. So as Angie's. Uh, Filling in the bed here and the underside of the log, getting that solid. I'm going to come in and use the spade and start filling in some of the ground there where she's standing. Try and get this leveled off. more tools to add to the arsenal uh, a rake and a level obviously a big level and gloves of course can't forget gloves Here we've marked out the area for the greenhouse. We went and leveled everything off. Gave it the roller a couple times too, just to make sure it's all solid. We gained a couple of helpers here. Mr. Al Dawu in the house. He's helping to uh, dig out the trenches now is what we're doing. So. These are approximately six to eight inches wide, and they're going to be about a foot deep, 12 inches deep, depending on how much we need to level it. Yeah, it's coming together. It's coming together. This is one of the hardest parts, I think. Just getting started, getting that foundation solid. Nice to have help, though. So what you can do too is just stack it here where the raised bed's gonna end up going anyway. Yes, I like it. I kill the grass at the same time. Yeah. Stacking function. Lots of nice worms in the soil too, so that's encouraging. Big fatties. It's good soil. Edge of the forest. Yep. This section has been worked slightly with the bed over here. So. Maybe I should help. <laughs> 